Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome to the live stream. Hey, guys. We're still getting all situated here and so forth, but... I'm not as organized today as I normally am. Been a busy day. There we go. We're live on TikTok and YouTube. Hello. Men's Bay Area. Uh, it's time, it's time. We all want the recap on what the hell happened. That's wild. Yeah, that's that's what this is. That's this. It makes more sense now why you have so much patience for negative comments and... <laughs> right? No, it's... uh, Yeah, when people wonder how I can tolerate all that little stuff, it's because like I went through some big thing, like some little negative comment. What do I care? That's a very minor issue I have ever had to deal with. <laughs> Six minute delay. Hope not. That's crazy. Anyway, I don't know anything about it. Just finished the series. Great job. That's awesome. All right, Jen's going to be interviewing me podcast style, but she has no questions. So I'm going to try. I didn't have time to write questions down like I was thinking, but yep. first of all, the one thing that a lot of people I noticed asking on your TikTok live when I was chatting with everybody is, you just unloaded a whole lot. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine, but you guys received all the information in the last couple days. I've been dealing with this for like two years, so I'm like, I've had the time to process and and uh, deal with all of it. Like, it's, it's still like a lot. Like, I, I have no idea how I'm feeling yet from the video series. Like, I have no idea. Like, it's just all fresh and recent. Ask me in a couple days. Do you feel like you're handling it different this time, rehashing it after time than you did when it was originally happening? Like, Definitely. you can control your emotion different. Yeah, I, I sure can. Like, I was able to sit down and actually make the video series. Like, I totally struggled through making it, but I actually successfully made it. But yeah, I mean, it's it's better. Like, I could tell when certain parts hit you. Yeah. I'm I, sure others could from videos, too. I'm sure. There, there's people out there that are totally observant of, like, um, mannerisms and all this stuff. Like, you know, and they can pick up on all that stuff. But, yeah. Well, I'm glad you got through it. Glad you got it out, out there finally. I Me know too. you've been wanting to. Yep, I have. And it's out there. Lord Manion, come forth, says the Super Chat. He'll, he'll make an appearance. He'll make an appearance. Um... This is a good question. Why didn't Jezebel equally divide the animals? Why did she think she was going to take them all, even though she owned oh, only owned a third of the property? Well, she just was going by what she could legally get away with. Like, so she owned, she purchased the animals technically, so she could technically take them, and she knew a judge, you know, would always side, would side with that, be like, yeah, and I'm the dummy that deeded her a third of the property. Um, so that's... You know, legally speaking, like, there was no no recourse, you know, and, and fairness was obviously the last thing on her mind for anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was, in my opinion, just all about money and at the same time all about her reputation. So it was very important that when she left, the homestead totally fell apart and I couldn't do it on my own and she needed to be the one to say, hey, I'm the one that held it all together. See, he really had nothing to do with any of it. And obviously, as history has proven, that she wasn't needed here. Then you stepped outside one morning and there were three ducks. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the next, the next day. Like, she tried to catch... A bunch of the ducks didn't make it. Some of the ducks that whatever ones she deemed had value went with her. The other ones were just eliminated. And... Three of them were unable to be eliminated. Um, she, they ran away from her. They s went to shelter in the woods. You know, maybe they saw their siblings and, and other ducks like being decimated and they're like, we want no part of this. And so those three went to the woods and eventually they crawled back out and there I was. And I was like, oh, I have ducks. I knew some were missing. I knew they weren't able to get them all because they were talking about it. And suddenly there were ducks and I was like, 
I'm gonna care for you guys. You guys are gonna be my buddies. I've got a minion and three ducks. And those three ducks are still your buddies. They're your favorite three ducks. <laughs> They're my favorite three ducks. He can They're pick still those three here. ducks out of the 21. There was no guard dogs. There was no support for them at all. Like, I literally, like, put them under the tongue of my trailer and, like, block them in kind of with cinder blocks. But they could get out or in. They could kind of do what they wanted. And they just sat as three huddled ducks for over two months before I got a coop finished for them. And no protection, no anything. And... They survived. I mean, I came out all the time in the middle of the night because me and sleeping really wasn't a thing that was happening back then. For quite a while. <laughs> so um, I would just come out and, yeah, they made it. And they're good. And they've grown the flock to over 20 ducks now. Yep. Kitchen duck was one of those ducks. Kitchen duck is one of, one of the very original ducks. Some people might hear me talk about quackers from time to time. Quackers is one of those ducks. Mm-hmm. And I call the other one Nesty. She didn't really have a name. Nope, she didn't. But, but that's kind of her name. She tried to twin nest with kitchen duck last year, and so I called her Nesty. Yep. Did it? Oh, there's, there's ducks on oh, duck gifts ducks. on the TikTok. Thank you, guys. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Somebody asked how I'm doing. I'm doing fine. I've known this story since before Nate and I started dating. Um, I was a mod of his, and like he said in the series, he reached out to the mods. Um, so I was aware of most of the story bef before I ever met Nate. After we met, he told me more of the details, um, especially because I came out here and there were still remnants of ducks in some places. Mm -hmm. um yep but it, that's when i heard most of it. it it took forever to clean them up there were pieces i mean you wouldn't last believe. summer he told me i just found a part of a duck and i was like what no yep. and it was old enough that he knew it was mm -hmm. from before but yeah that was just la this last summer it um was. but i didn't have to live through this it's it's a horrid wretched story there are terrible terrible humans involved I feel terribly for Nate. I'm just here to support him from now going forward and to let him know that he is worthy. <laughs> he is worth it. He's an amazing person. I have not seen any indication from him of any of the things that I have heard come out of these women's mouth. Um, and I'm just here. I'm here for the long haul. I couldn't be happier. So, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Super chat. As someone who's been in a similar position, my heart goes out to you. You're doing incredible. Thanks for sharing your story. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. It's, uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> interesting to go through. If you don't know what he's talking about and you are interested, there's a playlist on TikTok and YouTube called What the Heck Happened? And Nate is giving you the story of from childhood all the way through to about two years ago mm -hmm. on the homestead. Yep. And there'll be more more of the story to tell. Like, I got to tell from then to meeting Jen to, like, where I am exactly currently. Like, but I'm, I'm taking a break from storytelling for a bit. Um, but. Nate got, Nate built a closer relationship with his mods after Delilah left the homestead. Um. He didn't really have anybody here other than Jezebel, and she was in the fields all the time. So he built he built a better relationship with, with his mods. Um, I was live all the time. He would come hang out with all of us um, and talk and chit-chat. Like he said before, we are who he reached out to uh, when Jezebel left because he just really wasn't sure what to do. And we all, we all talked to him closer as groups and stuff. He and I did not share phone numbers or get to know each other at all until after I came out here for the meetup. Or we might have shared phone numbers right before I got out here just because I was texting him like about like... trip plans and all that stuff. But you we know. did not start, start talking personally until after that meetup in May, which was long after he'd made his trip to New York and been shut down and all of that. Yep. 
Oh, we got some super chats. We got some super chats. Don't want to miss the super chats. Inspired me to purchase off the grid solar book to learn more how it works. I hope to generate some electricity off my apartment and balcony. Greetings from Cape Town, CA, brother. Very cool. Brooke Corner sent a $10 super chat. Thank you. Ronnie Golden, I'm so proud of you, you both. Aw, oh, thank you. And how's your relationship with your mom and dad? It's it's good. Um, I have a, like, we're, we're like not geographically close. Um, they've been out here probably four times in I've the last bit. Yeah, we've we've gone up there and met them. Um, there's still like, <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, I've got two other siblings, so like they're at least in contact and good with one of them. The other one, I don't think they have really anything to do with. Um, I don't totally know, but because any information about what's going on here, I don't want it to make it to my siblings, so I keep my relationship somewhat limited because in no way can certain information get to them. Get to them. They have no right to know anything, and so I don't want to risk passing it through my parents, but I think they're... I think they're good. I mean, they, and I'm more or less like, I don't think they'd purposely go out of their way to share anything. It's just, if they don't know something, they can't accidentally share it either. So uh, it works. Does not talk to his siblings. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, Under no circumstances. <laughs> you need Charlotte. She's ridiculously cute. She's a ridiculously pain in the bottom is what she is. <laughs> huh? Now you You're get some impressed. Viking braids in the beard. Jen's braided the beard a couple times. She will again. She will again. Please post more on few who find it. I'd like to. We'll see. I have been radically busy um, just on, on this channel and business and everything else. So, you're okay, man. What else? <laughs> minion love. The only... Love only Minion can give. That's right. Hey, Caden. Thank you for the galaxy. Was there a particular event that prompted the timing on your sharing all of this? Not really. Somewhere in the <clears throat> series I talked about, I think it was back when I talked about like the affairs of my ex-wife and everything, how it took like two years to really get over anything. Um, two years, for whatever reason, is totally a mental... Um, yeah, something changes mentally when something happens, at least for me. So I'm past the two-year mark of it all happening, and... But somebody did difference. inspire you to actually oh, finally yeah. do it. What so, inspired you to I actually... I wanted to tell the story, but there was a lady on TikTok named Risa Tisa, and she made a, a video series called Who the F Did I Marry? And she went through and posted all her stuff and just told the good, bad, the ugly, was just open and transparent. And I was like, that's what, that's I, want to what do. I want to do. And I never watched her series. I only watched the first video. She watched the series told me kind of how it went. And I'm like, I don't want to watch the series. I don't want to copy her. I want it to be my own, but I like the idea and I'm, I'm going to do it that way. And if you guys have not seen hers, <laughs> go watch it. Hers is a 50 part series. She does it in a matter of just a couple days. It's all there now though, but uh, nope. incredible. <sighs> like another, whoa, <laughs> what? <laughs> Nate, can I contact you about your homestead setup? Um, I mean, I, I totally appreciate the, the super chat. Um, I have so many requests for that. Like, it, it's just difficult. Um, people want to get in phone calls with me all the time. People have offered to pay me significant amounts per hour. Like, I just... Our best bet is to do lives or podcasts that are dedicated to a certain subject, mm -hmm. like solar... And if people are interested in your solar coming, you being able to answer yeah. questions and go over it thoroughly like that, like... Yep, that would... <clears throat> yeah. That would be about the best. Um, Brian sent a $10 super chat. Thank you. I'll give you, you $500,000 if you do 100 push-ups. <laughs> 100 push-ups. Let me get the cash app deposited to my bank account first. There you go. I might struggle with 100. I can do a lot, but... <laughs> Philip sent 
Super chat. Ian says, dear, your ex and your sister still talk. So I'm obviously out of the loop with um, them generally speaking. And they never got along before all this. Once I became a common enemy, they got along the best, of the, like amazingly well, at least on social media. To From put social up media, front. you'd think that they were like the closest sister-in-law or yeah. sister-in-laws ever. Yep. Um, in reality, there's no way that held that held on for very long. And I can pretty much verify that based on the fact that one account, because um, they both have accounts, <laughs> one account completely went private and disappeared. The other one's just sitting there letting all the hate, you know, flood in. So um, we're pretty sure the one hasn't contacted the other sure to say, hey, by the way. <laughs> yep. Do you still go to church? No. No. Nope. The Mennonites put the nails in your driveway. That's another very common question. Um, there's no way. Um, first of all, they're all too far away. For them to have come all this way just to do that makes no sense. They're, if they're going to do something, they're not going to do something petty. They're going to do something big. Um, it's just it's super out of character. Inspired my wife and I to start homesteading. That's so cool. Strong and hope you're strong. Hope all is good. Hope you're okay. And hope all be good for you. We shall the good be with you and Jen. Well, thank you. So, have you found a better, safer place to keep your protection devices so that if something were to happen again, things can't be taken from you? Mm, yeah, I would say so. Um, the bit, the biggest thing was like in in order for it to happen the way it did, like somebody who stays here has to literally invite like six people and let them know where everything is like she knows where all this stuff is she could most definitely orchestrate such a thing only she's not a piece of crap human so she's not going to do that um but yeah it's it's you know i'm i'm more i'm not really prepared for the same scenario to happen again but you know, I'm not with somebody who's ever been in any kind of ridiculous religious cults or anything like that. So that yeah. gives me, that gives me some serious faith. Yeah. <laughs> Come help and set up. So we're back up in northern Wisconsin. If I had all had the time, I would love to. I'd love to run around and do solar stuff. I'm still building my own homestead. Um, and obviously working on my own you know, businesses and income here. Like, and part of the reason, like when I first started this channel, I really talked about not needing money a whole lot, not wanting to need money, all that stuff. Well, after these people left and put me like close to a hundred K in debt with no real assets. Well, you were at a point, I, you had sold your whole life for this property and you were at the point where you weren't sure you could keep it. Yep, no, I, I really... That was scary. I really thought I was going to lose this place. Like, that had to have been scary. I, I, got, I came really close to, like... But, I... Yeah. I basically doubled down and started businesses and went crazy running them to the point that definitely deteriorated my health. Like, you know, it doesn't matter if I don't eat today as long as I get, keep my business going today sort of thing. Because otherwise I lose everything and whatever then, yeah. So I got really, really dedicated. And now, it's entirely possible I'll need to deal with these people legally. And that will require six to seven figures of money. Fine. I'll get six to seven figures of money. I'm not going to let these people win again. Catch up your super chats quick. Catch up the super chats. Guys, love if you two started a garden. We are planning to. Any plans for horses or cattle? Not really. Norway Homestead Consulting. I actually had a consulting business for a little while. Where is Boing Kiss the bean plant? He's needed for my sanity. Oh, that's funny. I have no idea where that's at. He's, he's something else. I'm a cult survivor as well. Thank you for being a symbol of strength for people in this situation. You're welcome. And I'm, I'm, you know, probably mostly done telling the story on these channels. 
I'm, I'm still gonna follow up and like it's it's just not gonna be at the forefront like it is like that's not moving on um but <laughs> if there are like different cult podcasts and stuff and things that exist out there that want to host me I may go over to somebody's channel to do such a thing that's the reason Jez accused S.A. just because he touched her hand she handed you a plate <laughs> No, I mean, it's it's totally a tactic, um, particularly common, unfortunately, in the Mennonites. Um, because if you can drop the accusation, then and you get enough people around, like, you can just... Yeah, you totally can control them, because there's limited ways to ever defend against such an allegation. So, there were actually two allegations. One made prior to the to the one but the first one was made by other people not by her mm -hmm. and it was people of this group mm -hmm. the sec when that didn't go through time later she tried to pull her own allegation mm -hmm. Yo. and still couldn't and i think do anything with it like i think we were kind of like at a point where like it's sort of a cold war because I never lost my following. I've gotten more popular and they're like, well, he'll never call us out because we can have this on him. And he's not going to want everybody to know the story. So he's yeah. going to stay quiet. So I'm going to stay quiet. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to stay quiet. I'll throw it out there. And if it gets me canceled and everything crumbles around me, I don't care. Um, I want the truth out there. I want the truth out there, and I want them thinking they have the upper hand to go away. And sure, they can come out and formulate some kind of, like, detailed story, and then they'll have to, like, prove it. But, like, when somebody else brings it out publicly first, it just, they get everybody wound up on their side first before the other person. This way, I'm just saying, hey, it's out there. Don't be surprised if somebody tries to come out with a detailed story. I already know. I already know. Here's their motivation. They already made a ton of money off of me, and they're going to wait until there's more money to be made before they would bring it up. So right. if they see me having any kind of wealth or anything, which once I build a house and stuff, they might be like, all right, now's the time to see if we can get more. One thing I noticed while he was telling this story, and I don't know if anybody else caught on, but I even said to him when he got done, I said, wait a second. I'm like... They both got checks in their hand, and you haven't heard from anybody since? He's like, nope. Nope. Everybody shut up. So, no more letters, no more phone calls, no more texts, no more harassment. It just stopped once they had their money. As soon as they had their, their money. And then my second thing was, these women had all these nasty, shitty things on you, and not one of them was a good enough person to contact me and say, hey... Look, woman, yep. you're with the wrong guy. Right, right. No, they should have they should have reached out and said, like, Hey, come on. He did this, he did that. Here's our evidence, you and, know. And I can list a bunch of things that I know through social media they were accusing of you of. And in mm -hmm. our time together and the fact that we've lived together for two months, not once have I seen an any indication of any of those things. Yep. So I don't know who they lived with. I don't, well, <laughs> just like the series says, what the hell happened? I have no idea. It's like we were in different dimensions yeah. or something. All I can say is, well, I wish you hadn't gone through that, but I'm glad it did. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey, they... Something had to make you see through her bullshit. Mm-hmm. At, at, the, at the end of it all, like, it was hell to go through. You were through, worth so but much more. Like, where I ended up versus if they had never done that, there's no way I'd be as happy as I am now. There's no freaking way. No Oh my gosh, I'm behind on super chats. That's all right, alone, catch up, catch up. Let alone regular chats. Sorry, my guys. goodness. We're all into chatting tonight. Just finished the series. Glad you're in a better place. Good job. Waiting to try the coffee. Awesome. Yeah, and I am in a better place. I want to see as He'll be on TikTok later after this live. I'm quite sure on a TikTok live. For Nate and Jen's legal fund. <laughs> awesome. well, thank you. I'll start a file. Does West Virginia have a stand your ground law? Definitely. It's, um, yeah, self-defense is, is favored in this state. No question about it. 
real quick before you read the next one. This is very popular too. This is not why Saber disappeared, guys. <laughs> so this story just happens to be coming out after the cat disappeared and after the drama with the dogs and the nails and stuff, but they are not connected. We're, we're sure they're not connected. Yeah, there's no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Quarter through that crazy story. <laughs> right? Right. That's, yeah, there's more to come. If you're only a quarter of the way through, there's there's more to come. So happy this all worked out for you. God is good. Absolutely. Jokes aside, you're really inspiring for others. Well, awesome. I certainly hope so. Thank you for all the videos. Your videos help me go my hard time, get through my hard times and help a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Nate and Jen's twin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Deanna sent a... Super chat. We ever come out with tea products? Well, as much tea has been in my life recently, oh, I should think about it. You spilled it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't buy my tea, guys. It all spills. <laughs> Stupid tea. Uh, you didn't really answer the question, though. Are you interested in doing something with teas? Do you think that's something that it's they possible? Could see? It's, it's entirely possible. Um, I've actually had a couple ideas in the back of my mind for names of such teas. Oh, we could come up with some good teas. So, I'm, I may talk with, with somebody um, and and see what, what can be done in, in that area. Um, As is a Turkish Boz Shepherd. Have you thought about getting a water generator to complement your rain catch? I've thought about it, but I don't think it'd be worth all the, all the effort. Whatever your parents had to say about all this... They were one of the few people that were very thoroughly investigative as trying as far as trying to figure out what happened. They're about the only people that they saw the proof. Were interested and in, yeah, like I've not at all concerned that like they don't believe my story at all. <laughs> no concerns about that. Bard sent a super chat. Love you all. What you do. Screw the allegations. Jealousy is a hell of a drug, for sure. Appreciate the time you put here for us, and if possible, please give Lord Minion a kiss for me. Oh, I got the first one. You did. Hi, how you doing? I'm going to sit you up. Okay, kisses. Are you going to be slouchy? No, you're not going to be slouchy? Mwah. Oh, did you get kisses? Did you get kisses? <laughs> did you get kisses? <laughs> yeah, I get the kisses all the time. I always get the kisses. He does. And he gets all sorts of kisses. Hugs and kisses. How far from Newton are y'all? If family in Roan County, they might be able to help or be an asset. I don't know where Newton is. But then again, I don't leave all the right. property much. My next goal is to study this state. Because people tell me all the time where they're from. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know anything about West Virginia. Yeah. You'll know I know where I me. am. That's about it. I can get to town and back. Yo. Yeah. Me too. Um, in the stock, more leather hats. Possibly. It might be up to Jen. She'll prompt me more one way or the other. He's got a lot going on and I have to time it right. Otherwise, we're going to order them and they're just going to sit here and collect dust until we can get them branded because he yep. hand brands them. So I have to work on timing. It probably will be later summer, ready for fall type, but... I will stay on him and we will get some hats out there. I get requests almost every day. Yeah, they all they all sold out after I made a video about them. Yes, he does keep trying to just kind of push it over his shoulder, but I do. I'm here to nudge him. <laughs> he told me I can nag him about mm. the right things. I did. I did tell her she can nag me. I need nagged sometimes. I'm not a very good nagger. <laughs> oh. These YouTube lives are so honest and open, makes it feel like we aren't just fans, but instead friends and family. You well, are. good. Tell those people to go places and do things away from the homestead. <laughs> That's right. Right? You are friends and family, guys. Go we hot think places that same and way do too. hot things. That's right. <laughs> go to hell. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I love you too. I have a question for Jen. What do you think about Nate's ex? So, I cannot rightfully say what I think about her, correct, because we don't haven't met. I would only be judging what I know of their relationship. I don't think that that's fair. Um, 
What do I think about what Nate's ex did to him? She's despicable. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, I can't imagine that he's much different of a person with her than he is with me, aside from the parts of him that I make better. Which is Obviously, a he's lot. gonna be a better person because he doesn't have somebody dragging him down. Um, but I can't, I cannot judge her as a human. I can just judge her behavior. And I feel all the same way you guys do. And the sister just makes me want to puke. I was, I was so worried that I was going to be out walking these trails with you and start running across duck parts and that I wasn't going to be able to handle that. Like, I would be fine if we were like, hey, it's time to call this duck, blah, 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 blah. Like, I think I could handle that, at least mentally prepare myself. But to just be walking around and find animal parts. Yep. Guillotine. That's all I could say. A couple other people sent some super chats. Thank you. Long live kitchen duck quackers and nasty. Absolutely. Are there any kind of small tales that showcases the character of Delilah or Jezebel? Hmm. Probably. Um. I mean, with Jezebel, like she quote loves dogs. Um, and she's definitely got one dog that she loves to allow just run and kill and decimate all kinds of things. Um, I can't click it. You, no, you can't. You can't click on here. I want to. You can't. <laughs> Has to do it on a phone. Because it <sighs> shrinks up and... Oh, that's right. Changes it, it changes all. it. That's right. That's for viewing only. <laughs> that's all right. I've got mods in there. They can escort. There you go. I like to escort. I don't want to be on the phone. Yeah, anymore. and then Delilah. Hmm. Not totally. I mean, there are, but honestly, I prefer not to, like, think about either of them at all. <laughs> no, but there's some things that I think some people didn't catch on to. Like what? Like, you aren't the only one she is accused of, S.A. Like, the guy, that, the guy that passed away that she got all the money from. The reason... That would be Jezebel, The reason... Yeah. Nate and his buddies were there at the diner to tell him to get the F out of town because she didn't want him there was because she accused him of S.A. Mm -hmm. And then he passed away and left her a chunk of money. Right. So no repercussions from that false accusation either. Nope. nope. So that'll give you a little bit of context to her. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I don't know how other people feel or if it hit everybody the same way as it did me, but... The fact that Delilah left you sitting on a couch doing the finalizations the night before your wedding while she went out with her girlfriends to party and left you alone knowing your friends that were supposed to be there weren't, mm -hmm. didn't invite you out, didn't offer to stay with you, and then got pissed when you called her. Yeah, the whole pissed when I called that her. That whole thing? Trying to figure out a logistical Yeah, thing I guess for if you were okay wedding. with her still going out, but when you are trying to get a hold of her for logistical things for a wedding that you guys are having the next day like really yeah like you i can't wasn't... be some more more supportive of right he's really yeah i wasn't going to deprive her of her bachelorette party because my bachelor friends were being bachelors and not showing up for like a day later like um yeah i just yeah yep like wow for sure I mean, I would other... have been like, hey, come out to the bachelor party with us. Like, <laughs> right? I, that would actually be kind of fun. I can just see the fun of that. Like, that would be fun. It may not be what everybody wants to do, but if you are stuck and your guys aren't there, like, oh my gosh, how much fun they could have had with you that night. Like, seriously. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Stupid on her part. Stupid. Mm hmm. I should have. I should have. And when her dad came to me and said, hey, it's not too late to bail, I should have bailed it. I had my out, I had my red flag. I was young and dumb and didn't. And so I got to pay for it with the next 15 years of my life. Yay. Yep. I mean, all 15 years weren't bad, but the majority of it was actually awful. Minion, you just got invited to a pizza shop. Oh, man. Rick and Alice still friends. No, and there's 
more parts I can make to this story, I'm just going to take a break for a bit, but how do you stay straighten your beard? I do have a beard straightener. I haven't touched it in probably at least a year and a half. It's just straight. You got an, you got a message about that too. He, I mean, I use the beard balm like it. And he brushes, he brushes his it. beard. So he brushes it with the beard balm in it. Yep. And then he's always pulling it. I am. Yep. He's always trying to Just this, like you guys see this, it. he's always doing that. So he's training it to go straight and not like somebody sent a message the other day and said that their beard does a C, which I'm assuming, I don't know if it curls sideways or out. I don't know. Like a C. But same thing I told him. I'm like, use the products and I just. Like, Nate brushes his and pulls on it like crazy. Nope. <laughs> I'm the HVAC guy that emailed you about the mini split. Never heard from you. Um, oh my gosh, you got so many messages. If I don't have 40 emails from different HVAC people, um, <sighs> the problem is everything. Like, I can find nobody to assist me in a project. And the problem is the moment I make a video, it overwhelms me with the amount of people. And it's just like, it's such a pain to navigate. I think I have something lined up and, and good to go with that. Um. There's, a, there's somebody on here, Squishy Girl, wants to know what I use in my hair. Squishy. Yeah, sorry, I have to take a girl moment. Love how the ducks are more TikTok famous than Jezebel, right? Right? That's funny. Pam sent a super chat, and I'll catch up after. This squish, this is what I've been using. It's Narrow Way Homestead's Main Tamer. It's a hair oil, hair serum. It's a brand new product. And I get my hair damp, and then I put some in the palm of my hand and rub it in really good. And then I just rub it through the ends of my hair. And just in the ends, because if you put it up all over your hair, it's going to get oily and feel greasy, and you don't want to do that. So you do it while it's damp, and then as nope. it dries, it sucks the oils into your hair. And then locks, once it's mainly all... Locks that water moisture in there. Yeah. Once it's mainly all in my hair, then I'll kind of go up into the longer parts just to kind of give it some softness. But yeah, it's it's been working really good. And it smells so good. I had somebody say, ooh, cedar, and women don't like cedar. It doesn't smell like cedar. The vanilla and cedar together, and it's very lightly scented, are so nice. And nope. it's not super feminine, but it's not masculine. Um, Nate uses it, and he likes the scent of it, too. But Narrowway Main Tamer. Something is. for the girls. <laughs> yep, we finally got some, some uh, products for women. But what am I going to do? Sell women's hair oil? No, but Jen can. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm working on a women's designed t-shirt too something that's not just the unisex straight side t-shirts like we need like a baby doll tee or something i don't even know what that is but that's fine i don't even know what that is <laughs> uh, all right let me catch up on these i'm behind on super chats ridiculously behind on the youtube chat and i haven't even like looked at the TikTok chat. This is crazy. It's all crazy, guys. 2,200 on YouTube, 1,500 on TikTok. All right, Super Jet. What about the two mods you started to tell us about? You said there were red flags, but didn't finish that story. I will finish that story. It just, I was exhausted of telling the story, and it's an okay spot to drop off knowing that's, that season two That's Rick and Alice, will right? Come. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll start. That'll come. It'll come. And It'll then we'll, we'll get into when he and I met and how that all mm -hmm. happened. And... Like, I've caught you guys up through all the horrors and how I, like, barely survived. There's a story of how I thrived after it, and that part is just not told, not out yet. He needs a breather. I need a breather. I need a breather, guys. I mean, like, I tried to hire a producer and film crew and, and actors and everything to do all this for me, but then turns out nobody wanted to work for zero dollars, so I had to do it all myself. Yep. yep but, you know, if, if Netflix wants to make a series and fund the whole thing, I could work with them. <laughs> Hello from Northern California. Love y'all. Come back to Montana sometime. I run a pizza place in Anacorda. Anaconda. Anaconda, yes. Love to have Lord Minion 
Enjoy a slice. Maybe our ceiling would also interest you. It might. I like that ceilings. would be awesome. Hope you're all doing great. Thank you. Angel Cuddy I sent a super chat. My girl Pity gets super excited to see Minion and as huge fan of the channel Nate. Love the positivity. Helps me in my own darkness. Awesome. It surprises me how many people watch your channel with their animals. It's really cool. <laughs> it is so cool. It's totally cool. I think as what goes around comes around, they will get their time one of these days and it will come back on them one of these days. So, I mean, it's been two years. I am obviously wary of what it is they do. So I somewhat keep tabs on what happens in their life or not. And some of them have definitely been getting what should come to them and not by my hands, it's just happening. And I'm just like, good. It's kind of cool I get to see some of it. But yeah, they'll get theirs. And I get some All Hail Lord Minions in the chat. Much love from Toronto, Canada. Uh, all Hail Lord Minions. We love you, Minion. Oh my gosh, I caught up on the Super Chats. All right. Thank you guys so much. You guys I are kind. I saw a really good question over here. I'll change the subject for a second. Have you ever mistaken a raisin cookie as a chocolate chip cookie? Yeah. Like bit into a raisin thinking it should have been chocolate? Mm -hmm. And what was your thought? That was the moment I learned that I didn't want to eat or I didn't like raisin cookies because they're just chocolate chip imitations. Oh, you grabbed it thinking it was chocolate chip and it was raisin and yeah. you were like, you And that's literally why I don't like raisin cookies at all. Well, that's funny. It's only How funny that we would pull that, that story out of you with that question. Right. That's pretty funny. So no raisin, huh? Don't make you things with raisins. Mm, it's okay as long as it's not cookies. Okay, so no oatmeal raisin cookies. No, but if you make oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, I'll be all yeah, about I'm, it. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. <laughs> pretty much. Oh, pretty much. Oh. All right. What do we got? Nobody knows. Nate gets a new hat ring for Trespasser that never leaves. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that Mikey D. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yes. Crop girl shirts, but I still ordered a Lord Minion shirt. I'm so excited for it to arrive tomorrow. This channel is my happy place. That's awesome. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Wish we could like 50x for the entire series. <laughs> Much love. Nate, Jen, Doggos, Duckies, beautiful kitties. Much love from Canada. Love YouTube algorithms. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Way cool. And super drama. Asked something about, I asked about man's skin condition as my dog has something similar. Started buying a higher quality dog food oh. on your recommendation and she's much better. Awesome. That's I remember cool. you guys talking about that. Low quality garbage labeled dog food is full of filler crap. It really is. Like, if you really love your dog, like, and it Put all can possibly it. afford it. Like, yeah, instead of paying for vet bills later, trying to diagnose issues, just put the money in up front and quality dog food and maybe you won't need to call the vet so often. That's if I could like, yeah, tell anybody that. <laughs> um, yeah. From the kingdom of, I don't even know what that is. Bahrain? Bahrain, yeah. Bahrain. Love the channel, keep it up. Love the beard care. We're gonna have to look awesome. up where that is. Right. I've heard of it. I just don't. I could not I tell you where I it is. I couldn't pick it out on a map either. I love seeing the other places. Greetings from New Jersey. I'm built like you, lanky and all. Splitting wood a nightmare for you too. Splitting wood really isn't that difficult for me. He's got guns. Um. These kinds. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do Grr. it. Yeah. Oh, come on, you flabby. <laughs> she's trying to brag all about the guns and then she squeezes it and is like, wait a minute. Uh, uh. You watch Yellowstone, if not, I highly recommend. They spent one million per episode filming in Montana. One million per episode, holy crap. We have not watched it. Mm -mm. He's, I, I watched, we've watched one series together and he wasn't really crazy about it. He felt like it was a really long drawn out soap opera 
why don't they just make this into a movie? Right. The same but thing you guys were all complaining totally about my series. Not that we why won't try. I make it into a short thing? That's what I complain about when I watch stuff. Right. Well, a lot of that was the fact that you were posting <coughs> to multiple platforms and not all of them take a long video. <clears throat> yeah, that was a struggle. So. And you guys would have lost half the story if I would have tried to edit and put all that stuff together. <laughs> right. I would have been like, Nate. Looking forward to your series on the homestead. Looking to see how you manage everything in detail. Awesome. What's your thoughts on, what is that, origin dog food? I am yeah. unfamiliar with that. Um, the highest quality food I am familiar with is open farms. Or open farm. Um, I always say open farms. Um. Our Minion has done very well on their food. Yeah, Minion's done good. Very expensive food. Bahrain but... is in the Middle East. All right. Well, we'll cool. know where to look when we're looking on the, on the map. Nate and Jen would like to know if your products are okay for sensitive skin. They should be. Um, do check the ingredients. Make sure you're not allergic to anything that's in the ingredients list. It's all available. Um, do I have relatives in Rochester, New York? No. No. <clears throat> tell Jen make durian cookies. Ain't happening. Oh, tell Mom, you don't have to eat them. I have to smell them. Wear a clothespin. I'll tell you what. I can make <laughs> durian cookies with a clothespin on my nose if you wear a clothespin that same day the entire time I'm cooking. On your nose. But why would I have to? I don't mind the smell of durian. For support. Moral support. I just put a second one on your nose for moral support. <laughs> You're going to need support. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Man, love everything you do. It's awesome to see someone so self-sufficient in a world where everything is granted to us with a click of a button. Well, thanks. Glad you enjoy them. Story's awesome. I watch every single one. Awesome. Very cool. Love that. That is awesome. Middle Small East. Small Island yep. Kingdom. Okay. Small Island Kingdom. What's the next project on the homestead, Nate? Probably a garage. And, like, I'm still doing, like, minor projects related to this, um, yeah, living quarters thing. I'm redoing, like, the electrical, like, I literally have everything fed with the junction box. <laughs> We're doing the electrical, the hot water. Yeah, hot water. Putting in a mini split, putting in a fan. Mini split. I want to get a fan done. I got to get it done before the weather gets too hot and then the whole design is useless until next winter. But yeah, there's a bunch and I'll bring you guys along for it. I'll bring you guys along. Really enjoyed your what the hell happening series. Well, good. YouTube actually did not enjoy my, I mean, obviously a bunch of you did, but generally speaking, YouTube did not, like, many, many followers have been lost over the, uh, over the series, but. Yeah, he actually lost followers, but I will say that I saw many, many, many people comment that they were going to unsub until you were done with the series, and mm -hmm. then they would resub. They just didn't want their sub feed full of your, your video, which right. is understandable, but it understandable but at the same time like how many video how much room is really seven videos every 10 minutes taking up for an hour hmm, right it's not really taking up that much however and then one guy that decided he was going to unsub because you left the religion but never waited for the rest of the story to know that you didn't become not religious you didn't stop believing in god you didn't stop Right. Having your own beliefs. Right. You just chose not to go to the church you were going to or nope. be run by. I just like ran away in the middle group. of the story. Yep. Which is fine. It's yep. okay. Oh, and I he said, got chewed going. up. He got chewed apart in the comments. People were like, what? <laughs> yep. It's okay. But you know, he's missing out on the homestead then. Have you paid off the loan they made you take out? That's a really good question. Um, yes, I did pay that off. I'm trying to remember even when. It wasn't that long ago. It was before Christmas, before the end of the year. Yeah, I paid it off. Like October or November? Yeah, it was like October or November I, I paid it off. And he was, yeah. Um, and I'm completely debt free Celebrate. in every possible way. No credit card debt, no vehicle loans, none of that. 
None of that. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What else do we got? Say hamburger. All right. <laughs> Curious about this myself. Your answer might sway people to your side. Did they take more of your money, property, than the two thirds of your property value? So they initially appropriated some things during the, what I'll just call the invasion, um, that they were not entitled to. And who knows what happened to that, where that went. Um, then they demanded a third of the value because the property was deeded three ways. They demanded two thirds of that. And then my ex Delilah, who wasn't an ex at the time, wanted a legal separation. And so it was my job to, I don't know why it was my job, but I was the one that wanted to stay here to assign a value to everything and split it with her and then she argued the value of some things and I really didn't fight her a whole lot on it like the problem is these people are all deeded on my property and they can just visit anytime they at want. any time they want if their name's on the land so I was just in a bad spot where I either have to agree to it or fight them for years in court when they can just randomly come visit their property at any time with their friends or invite people over or and I probably could have gotten a restraining order and maybe blocked some of that, but it's hard to say. Um, basically, yeah, I overpaid. I was worth about $30,000 $30, with like 100000 in debt by the time it was over. And between all parties getting paid, they got over a hundred k, And I was left with about thirty ish But they didn't take my brain and my ability to run businesses and make money. And I just kicked it into overdrive and I have made all that plus some back in the two year time period. We do so, do story time once a I week on the back. channel, right here, Sunday nights at nine o'clock. Yep. Every week. Hey, you talked about one time he would do nothing but work, come home, get on the computer. I've been in a rut like that for a very long time. Do you have any advice? Not really. Um, I should. Like, but honestly, I do the same stinking thing myself now. Um, I work or I'm on the phone instead of the computer, but, you know, doing TikToks or business stuff or something else. Um, it just is... What? I disagree. Okay. Because every evening you want time with me and you make it a point to put your phone down and say to me, hey, you want to do something? Every night. I do. Whether we watch a movie, watch a show, whether I, we watch my show and he falls asleep, whether we play right. a game. Always. Every night. If I don't say something to you, you say something to me. True. True. But that's only because you're here. When Before you were here, I had no choice. Okay, but Trina was there. Delilah was there. Why didn't you say, hey? Well. Want to do something? Because there was... Because the relationship was different. Because she didn't treat you the same. No, it was because literally I had to go do all the stuff that she was supposed to do because she left all the food out in the outdoor kitchen or something and raccoons were going to come. So I had to go out there and clean that up after I got done building stuff for the day. Because you weren't getting any help whatsoever, so you were doing the work of multiple people. Yeah, so you didn't I would have get the done time. with my stuff by the time evening hit, and then I had to... It was either that or just let other animals invade my property and cause chaos. Or, you know... Yeah, I had no, I had no assistance, so I had to do. He's not that more. way anymore because he does every night. I do well. I have assistance now. Ask me to do something. I plan out my day. I plan it out for one person's amount of work. Okay, but well, you were have, asking the question. You were answering the question work. like you still always do that, and you don't <laughs> no, anymore. I don't. So you did pull yourself out of it. I did. So that's some of what it was. Okay, so the answer is go find yourself a partner that helps you and have them move in. Or make goals. Make, make goals, goals for yourself if you're doing it alone. 
it's okay that you get it's it's okay that you go home and spend your time on the computer, play games, whatever it is you like to do. But if there's things that need to be done, then you need to tell yourself, "When I'm going to okay, get home so, from work tonight, in, I'm going to do <laughs> this, and then I'm going to get on the computer." In reality, I'm a workaholic. There's like I'm trying not to be a workaholic, but I'm a workaholic. I if she wasn't here to spend time with, I would absolutely spend every waking moment of every day until I can't tell you how many times I've passed out randomly just because I'm tired and it's 11 o'clock at night and I decided to go do something and then I fell asleep on the couch or I fell asleep here or I fell asleep there like it's literally a mindset change and I don't know how to do that other than I'm trying Brendan don't make me mute you <laughs> oh boy or Brayden it's Brayden don't make me mute you he says hey Nate did you know there's a durian candy simulator Ooh. I should have never told you that. See? Ooh, <laughs> tell me more about Durian no, Candy don't. Simulators. <laughs> Guys, have you kept up with Mark Hogman lately? I have not. I have not watched anything. Of course, Jen believes your deceit and lies. She was created in a lab by Mad Scientist Nate. Signed, Cult Leader Mike. <laughs> <laughs> AKM Gaming sends minion tax. Thank you very much. People who abuse the system with false accusations need to start resuming jail time or childish nonsense will just keep happening. Yes. 100%. Anybody that falsely accuses somebody of anything should receive the, and it's proven that it was false, should receive the exact sentence that would have been put on the guy they accused or girl they accused if it was true. So if you accuse somebody of murder falsely, it's turned out it was falsely, then they should Beach. serve the sentence of a murderer. Yep. Absolutely. That, is, that would just only be fair, because they tried to ruin someone else's life, and it didn't work. Has any of the members of the What the Hell series reached yet? Like, reached out yet? No, I don't think they would. I don't would. think they will. I know for a fact that at least some... At least one or more members is well aware that that series came out. LL Trash. <laughs> Your story was a roller coaster, Nate. Hope you don't have to deal with those people again. On a lighter note, do you still play video games? What are were some of your favorites? So we were playing Stardew Valley for the longest time, and that was a hell of a roller coaster, by the way. <laughs> Stardew Valley was our favorite for the longest time. Yeah, we had fun with that. We did. Seven days. <laughs> oh, oh, you're okay. We're still playing Seven Days to Die. We just died we into it quite as heavy as we were. Nope. It's okay, man. It's okay, baby man. You're it's fine. Okay, baby man. It's like you moved. It's okay, baby man. It's okay. Now he's pushing on me. It's okay. You I'm sorry. Okay. I have offended Lord Minion. Kick him. Kick him. I have offended Lord Minion, and kicks. I am very sorry. <laughs> Give him the kicks. You can give him the kicks. But I had to move my leg. You can give him the kicks. It was going to be leg cramp. Kick him. <laughs> oh, my. Just Kick wondering him. if you get more revenue from... Um, that's probably YouTube or TikTok. Watch most of your videos. Just wondering where my view counts the most. I would probably oh. say YouTube. Um, it depends. Like, okay, so the first through the seventh of every given month, it's probably better on TikTok. And the rest of the time, it's better on YouTube. Didn't I didn't come him. up with this stuff. He didn't hurt Minion. Minion is very vocal, and he's like, don't move Oh, my me. gosh, he is he's so just, vocal. He's just, Minion, Minion is kind of like a diva um, in a lord sort of way. He's like, don't move me. I was comfortable. See, he's back where he wants Don't set to. me like that. Yep. And he... He doesn't always lay in the most comfortable position for us. And then he you move so in stubborn. and he tells you all about it. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Don't touch my tail. Poor baby. Don't man. touch my tail, Dad. I'm going to get your tail. Nobody hurt me. I'm going to get your tail. Nobody hurt him. I'm going to get your tail. I'm going to get your foot. I'm going to get your foot. You want some? Want some? Want some? It's Want like, some? It's like you don't have any sums. I can get some. I know where to find some. 
Uh, yep. He's like, yep. where are you going to get me? Let me go, Dad. She's got some. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, notice Minion's eyes are starting to get a bit cloudy. Just He's noticed scared. something similar to my small dog. Ended up being ringworm. Just thought I'd let you know. So they say, thanks. Appreciate it. He is, uh, he is almost 11 years old now. And I do believe that he's uh, having some age things going on. <clears throat> is my interpretation that Ananias, the main bad guy in the story, the main bad guy in the story, he's the Jim Jones of that particular group. Um, yeah, I would definitely say Ananias is probably the main bad guy in this story because he's the one that's supposed to be old enough and wise enough to know better. And he wasn't. And if you asked me which individual in this story I was most upset with currently, it would absolutely be him by a long shot. Because he had an opportunity to do, uh, do good things. And he absolutely blew it in exchange for probably a paycheck. Your channel, I'm from Walla Walla, Walla Washington. Minion looks Walla, so Walla, like Washington. my dog. Too cute. Can you link where you got the, the hat? It's dope AF. Well, narrowwayhomestead.com for a long time was where you could get this hat. And I just sold out as of like two weeks ago. Come here, you are not Come low. Here. You are a minion. Come. You are Lord Minion. Come. Up. Ups. Come on. Excuse me. Ups. Here. Here for You're you. adorable, minion. You're so adorable and wiggly. Mm. Adorable and wiggly. <laughs> you want another one? Did you get the food? He's very concerned about the food. Look at him. <laughs> Has one. <laughs> he bit my finger. Hey. Look at his. He looks like a fox with his ears way up like that, and he's upside down. He does. You remind me of those baby foxes. Okay, that's all we get. You can't get belly aches. That was no good. belly aches. Lover feeding treats. Headlock minion. Good I can't girl. headlock minion. He's too wiggly. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, I headlock minion. He's a good boy. Up. Oh, we go with the wiggles. I wouldn't call it bear country, but there are bear here. Black bear. We had signs of black bear down by the pond. Yep. You got back up and continue to strive. Hi from VT. I did, and thanks. Lord Minion rules the world. Hello, Lord Minion. Lord Minion. Lord Minion. Lord Minion is also a big part of this story. Like, I didn't tell a whole lot of of it all but yeah two times in my life he has been very very important to me you kept him around yep yeah you did you did a good job too you did, you did a good job you did yeah. good he's a good boy he's partially good why boy. so well trained because i just so special wasn't feeling like lifing and i was like well maybe i'll train minion he's so much fun to train talk to this dog I teach him some cool stuff. I teach him some cool stuff. So some people over on YouTube are not aware of what's going on or what, like what yeah. our context is. So Nate has a 28 part video series out called What the Hell Happened? Um, he's telling a story about what happened on the homestead two years ago it's all... when the people that started with him left. It's all long format, and it doesn't show up in the short speeds, so... The play there's a playlist that you can go to. Um, I cannot keep the playlist in order for whatever reason. You should be able to sort your own playlist. I sorted it. It just does weird things. Just watch and make sure you're on the right part, if it matters to you what order you're in. Um, and that's where you're going to get most of the context. Yep. No, they were they were not the nails on the driveway, and they are not why Saber is missing. Oh. No. It's funny. 
Is that they the one you were responding are to? by episode. No, it, was, it wasn't a super chat that I responded uh, to. I just saw somebody ask. You, I'm late. Don't know what happened, but, the, but with the little I have here, I'm pissed. Yeah, you should be. And then you should go watch the What the Hell Happened long format video series. And just put an earbud in and do something around the house because it's going to take want, a minute. Yeah, if you want the whole story and the full context so that you really get to know each character, start way back at the beginning. If you want to know just, like, the main blow-up, start at 19. Yep. But and you won't know, you won't have context on the characters. You though, might... But. Start at 19, go to the end, and then be like, I want to know more, and then go, and back, go back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah. You can totally, yeah. totally view it in that order, because it might captivate your interest. Was there supposed to be a part 21? Yeah. There There's a be. part 21. It's the first one that went out today. Was 21. All right. Where are your eyebrows? Um, the Mennonites took them from me. They're the same color as his hair. I'm going to go with the Mennonites took them from me. I like that answer better. Okay. Well, don't be caught accusing of people of doing things they didn't do, Nate. Okay, fine. Hey, where are my eyebrows? They're the same color as your hair. Oh. Okay. He has very light colored eyebrows. I do. <laughs> In certain light, you can't see him so much. James again. Hello from South Carolina. I'm a huge fan of your lifestyle and love your beard care products. Thank you. Part 21 is there. We don't deserve dogs. Send a super chat. Minion is lucky to have found you. You are lucky you found Minion. Absolutely. You savior. Ludo joined the Narrowway supporters on YouTube. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Jeff Banker sent a $20 super chat. Thank you very much. He isn't watching the chat on TikTok, go to YouTube. Yes, absolutely. Do that. There's just way too much. And FYI, we're having a hard time watching the chat on YouTube, too. We are. We have we to are. get Super Chats, and the, the chat's just rolling. It is. I'm still behind on Super Chats. And it's on slow mode. Hello from BC. I'm assuming it stands for British Columbia. Does Lord Minion have an anthem? He doesn't have an anthem, but he probably needs one. I could play that song, but... <laughs> we need to make an AI like Lord Minion. Said. We need to make a Lord Minion anthem with AI. And then figure out if we have the... Oh, Minion, you're the one. own the rights to the digital... Oh, Minion. Oh, Minion. File. That would yeah, be cool. Minion, you're so fun. That would be cool. Start with 21. Start with 19. Start with... With episode nineteen, if you wanna get right into the the mix of the it. heat of it, yeah. Oh, make t-shirts and sell for defense fund. Do the gen seems solid. Stick with that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. How far are you planning on taking your brand? Dog care, snacks in the horizon. It's possible. How long will Minion lay like that? He loves to lay on his back. It's really hard to say. It just depends. He did not homestead before meeting Nate. Nope. If you ever visit, visit Canada, come to Alberta. I'll show you the Texas of Canada. Cool. I'll keep that in mind. Appreciate the wholesome content, bro. Love you. Thank you. Appreciate it. My wife and I are at episode 23, and they tried to abduct you, Nate. Thank goodness you, your friend called, right? They absolutely he did would've. try to abduct me. He would have. He, <laughs> he told us all as mods, like after all that happened, he was like, if I disappear, like he had it all written on paper, put it out there and said, if I disappear and you guys cannot get a hold of me, this is what happened to me and this is what I need you to have to get to find me. <laughs> like yep. it was pretty serious. I gave him all the info and And all and we weren't like totally in the know of everything that was going on, but we were like just like what? Mm-hmm. What? Yep. And I am of course like most women these days like a true crime junkie and i'm like oh my god <laughs> what's going on with this guy i'm odd for <laughs> right yeah i was getting a little bit 
It was getting a little oh. bit crazy. Just a little bit crazy. But then they didn't kidnap me and it all worked out really well. <laughs> and now if they want to kidnap me, I'm Good ready. luck. They're going to have to get past me and Az. I'm ready for people to attempt to kidnap me. They're going to have to come past me and Az. They will. Mm -hmm. And my neighbors. And then me. They won't get past me and Az. I don't think they'll get to you and Az. I don't think they would either. I don't think they'd make it all the way down your driveway. Oh. Hope not anymore. Last time they had help getting here and help getting past security. Yeah. This time they have no help. And this time they have a whole chain to try to unlock and to get unraveled and a gate to open before the neighbors hear and see them. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the warning signs of cameras, is that not <clears throat> enough for you? Mm-hmm, right. All the lights that turn on as you come down the driveway, that's not scary? Uh-huh. <clears throat> was there ever an explanation for the dead animal parts scattered during the move out? That's a really good question. Um, not really. There was a phone conversation with Ananias and Sapphira because I always like was like, what's the deal with that? Like, um, one of them, Nabel, my brother, um, I guess I asked him first in like a, a text or something. He said, oh, you know, I haven't been to the homestead in a while, I just assume it's always like that. Like, we always just had fresh dead animal parts flopped all over the property. Um, and then, when I talked to Ananias and Sapphira, and Sapphira, like, I was just like, what was with that? You know, why, why were they all slaughtered, and like, why? And then Sapphira just piped up, and I will never, these words will echo in her voice and my mind for the rest of my entire life. She's just like, yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to try to say it in her squeaky voice, but I don't know if I can. <laughs> um, it's just, you get what you deserve, which told me it was totally intentional. Whether she did that, whether other people did that, I okay. don't know. How did those... How did the ducks deserve that? What did they do to deserve it? That's what I would have said. What did they do to deserve it? Right. Well, what did they do to deserve it? Because they weren't your ducks. Mm -mm. No. Nope. And you didn't do anything to deserve it. And it was the ducks that were harmed. So I would have asked her, what did those ducks do to you? Right. And then like, yeah, I mean, there was like, obviously Delilah, my ex, told my neighbors that like, well, they're... Jezebel's duck. She can do what she wants with them. Like, there's, there's like multiple conversations and the story kept changing. And then Jezebel eventually on her own TikTok said, well, I didn't slaughter any ducks. So like, everything just like, it was just a mess. She, she, they can't keep their, she's they can't keep their it. own story straight. She's gonna deny it. She's gonna. Besides, there were other people that have no reason to say anything but the truth that were out here and saw those mm -hmm. animal parts strewn around. And you weren't even the first person I heard it from. So, right, like, whatever. Yo. And Lynch sent a super chat. Hello from the land of enchantment. If you guys ever want real green or red chili, especially extra hot, let me know where to send it. Ooh, extra hot chili would be amazing. <laughs> Tess, this is my third time trying. Did you get the first two? I don't know if I got any other ones from Duke. Mm. I wonder if they're like censored super chats or something. They shouldn't censor super chats. Right? Huh, weird. We make what the hell happened shirts. Um. If you did, you'd probably have to do it on a pre-order because that's not something that would stick around. It'd be yeah, hard to... Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to, like... Inventory on those. I'd have to be, like, convinced enough people would, like, be interested in having one, I guess. I'm not really sure how to determine that. I'm getting really upset. If I watch this series, will I get too upset? It's entirely possibly. possible. It's entirely possible. It's not... It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Nope. 
And yeah, I mean, the way I started it out, it sounded like it could be bad. Like, I kind of got hate at first. People were like, oh, it's drama and BS. And then all of a sudden, eventually, people were like, holy Whoa, shit. wait a second. Yeah. Like, how crazy is this going to get? Like, yeah, it's going to get crazy. <laughs> garden on the homestead. There will be a garden on the homestead. It'll probably start smaller this year, guys, with just some things that I want to get in the freezer and and stuff. And then... um. We'll, we'll grow it. I'm going to talk to the neighbors and see about maybe a community garden and getting certain things going here, certain things there. Georgia, send a super chat. Lord Manion demands smoochies. Lord Manion has gotten smoochies. Oh, smoochies? Did he need smoochies? He's like, get out of my face. They don't want your lips on my face. Hey, Lord Minion, even with the crazy yeah. stuff happening, thank you for being so open. You and Jen give me hope for our homestead journey. Well, that's awesome. And yeah, I, I wasn't sure. I'm kind of surprised I'm able to be open, this open about it, like only two years after, but hey, I, apparently I was able to. Pet Minion's tummy. Do you need pets on the tummy? You need belly rubs? Belly rubs. Minion can have belly rubs. And you won't sit like Minion, will you? Oh, you might. Would you be a big baby? Would you be a big baby? <laughs> Out here in the West Virginia backwoods, it's not, to, <laughs> not a place to play. F-A-F-O. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much not recommended. All right, what happened to my... There we go. Hmm. Trying to get my... Do you feel relief after sharing your story? It's too early to really say. I don't know if I totally do or not. Um, give me a couple days, I'll, I'll decide. I am not sure why this chat stopped moving. Because I know it didn't actually... You have it on top chat. Move it to all chat. Mm, I'm good with top chat. Uh oh. I've always had it on top chat. Oh. Let me try this again. Oh, thanks for the gifts on TikTok, guys. Yeah, thanks, we guys. 1.6 over on TikTok tonight. You guys are awesome. What was the logic behind a Matthew 18 approach and reconciling things when everyone involved has a different understanding of the church? Because they all believed, supposedly, in when someone has wronged you, you go, you go to them um, directly. And that never happened, and they claimed that that's what they were going to do. So, oh my goodness, this... Yeah, somebody's Chat over window. here saying that they can't comment on the YouTube live. I don't know why. So YouTube is on a slow chat, which means you can only comment once every 30 seconds. And that's because there's so many people over there and it's going so fast. We wouldn't see any of them if we didn't put it on a time. So if you commented something and then weren't able to comment again right away, that's why. You can only comment once every 30 seconds. It's to avoid spam and, and yep. craziness. Love your videos and shorts. First time I caught you live. Very cool. Glad you're here. Rick and Alice, still your friends. Thank you. Um, no. No, I would say not. Um, yeah, I wouldn't call them And friends. that story will most definitely come out. And those are, the, I don't know if the Mennonites or anyone else will, but those are the type of people that will probably have to wade into the whole thing publicly. And yeah. There might be some back and forth. I'd prefer not. They might just realize how big the account is and decide just to go away quietly and talk about me behind my back, which they have been doing for <laughs> they are anyway. a long time anyway, and it doesn't matter. But... Yeah. I'll buy a shirt that says Nate has his ducks in a row. That's funny. That would be funny. Ever consider beekeeping? Not seriously. Just because of the lack of time. 
Any tips for growing out Apache beard? Love the channel and the positive message you're sending out. I would say just let it stay patchy. Like, you see how mine's just like, I mean, honestly, like it's getting seriously carried away. Like, just let it go for a long time and then trim it. And you'd be surprised as time goes on as you like carefully shape and trim it. Um, how those patchy spots sometimes seem to fill in. And some people just have naturally patchy spots and every beard is different. And if you've got a patchy spot here or, or you know, like here or just own it. Like that's the way the beard grows on your face. Pick a style that, that works with it and, and go with it. You can also try a derma roller. I've never tried one, don't know anything about them. Some people claim success. Some people say they're useless, but. Um... Yes, we're still friends with Creek. He's a good dude. Yeah, Creek's awesome. Do you believe in Appalachian folklore? Appalachian folklore is how I should say it. Um, no. Ever chat extension will stop the YouTube chat lagging. Well, that's good to know. I'll have to look into some of that stuff. Um, oh, I didn't know about that. I'll have to check into some of that. You ever find any signs of saber? No. Much love from Boston. Love your videos. Thank you. You narrow away love from Alaska. Do a backflip. Uh, and eight big fans. I had a minion for me. How minion doing? Absolutely love your content. Been following for about a year. It's great to learn about your past and honestly I have so much respect for the way you do things. Thank you. You guys from Wheeling. Mark Shepard sent a super chat. Thank you. He's a good minion. He's a good minion. Oof. You are kicky. Oh, you are kicky. Oh. Oh, you just need to lay like that. Well, why didn't you say so? Minion is very, very insistent. On how he lays. He also insists on getting all involved with the beard. Get involved, man. Get involved. Get involved, get involved, get involved. How's the homestead? It's good. Really enjoy your content. Your voice is calming the video is wholesome. Thanks. There's no chat lag, guys. I don't know. It might be bad because the chat is not lagging for me. That's always possible, too. It's always possible. Yes, Manion. Thanks for all the lightning bolts on TikTok, Carl. Appreciate that. Very kind of you guys. So glad you found Jen after all that crap. What is a mod? A mod is somebody who watches the chat for me. So in both of my lives, I don't know if I have mods in both lives or not because both of these lives are like high views. Um, way to ignore the comment. Hmm? I said way to ignore the comment. What comment? I'm ignoring a comment. <laughs> so glad you found Jen after that. Boom, 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 right into the next question. <laughs> no comment whatsoever. Oh, I love I'm you. I found Jen. I love you. Probably. You read the question and then you, or the comment, and then you went to the next one. You didn't even respond. It was it the was same funny. one, so it's all one. Oh. <laughs> and that's now I, I have for, no that's idea. That's what I get for not reading. Now I have no idea where that went, or what I was talking about. Because you missed the comment. <laughs> uh. Uh, are you country? Country. Oh, I guess. I live in the country. But I don't like country music, so. UFO stories. No. Nope. Guess Gary sent a super chat. Thank you. Yes, you have mods in both. Starla pinned it. Oh, yeah. People were asking what mods were. They are people that can pin comments, mute inappropriate comments, and answer questions, and just generally help these lives go way better. And some of them have honestly been doing it for years on here. Mod is short for moderator and they moderate the chat. They do. They make sure that it's all cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
So Jen, what do you do? I work for Nate. Now that we have had that very thorough description, let's find some other interesting comments. <sighs> no, seriously, that's a hard question to answer. What doesn't she do? You stop with the wiggles. I don't clean the crap out of the woods. Nope. I told him he could not put that on my work list. Nope. I said I was not hired to clean the woods. He said, okay, then fine. I did. <laughs> I did. I uh, do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff in the website. Um, make sure all the new items and stuff get listed and everything's out there, right? Run sales. Um, post all of his videos to other platforms. Edit them down so that they fit. That kind of thing. Help him come up with videos if I can. Keep his lives running. And I take care of all the animals. <laughs> That's about what I do. Have you ever thought of uh, using smudge pots around the homestead during winter? <clears throat> what wood stove do you recommend? No, I haven't really. Um, and as far as what wood stove I'd recommend, I always either the only new one I've bought is a really cheap one and other than that I've just used used ones. I've never used a, a really nice wood stove. <laughs> I like stove. how Christopher Hawthorne says it. He says, so basically you bring in the income. <laughs> yes, yes. I um, do the behind the works scene stuff to make Nate work so that the income can come in. Yes. Yep. I find the income and he in makes In some it. ways she's kind of like an agent in some, like, but just in-house agent. If somebody on the street asked what I did and they didn't know Nate, I would tell them I was a social media website manager. There you go. Like, I manage his social media and his website. Yep. Bringing your own food goes a long way. Growing up, we had tomatoes, asparagus. We also did pigs and cows. Best meat I've ever had. Yeah, growing and raising your own food, definitely. Update any updates on Saber? There are none. I know absolutely nothing more than I did two months ago. Unfortunately. If you paid for a super chat, it hasn't been missed. He's still getting to them. <laughs> I'm still. I'm in a list of super chats still. Rissy sent a two dollar super chat. Thank you. Grew up in a Baptist homestead. Your story is very. Similar to some church friends, it's always amazing to see a guy come out of it with a good mindset. Well, thanks. And, like, I've got nothing bad to say about Baptists or people homeschooled. Um, people's experiences are all different. Kind of like some people go to public school. Some people have an absolute awful experience, and some people don't. Um, it just depends. But I never had any issues with Baptists or anything like that then again I was a kid when I was there so I wouldn't really know much about it anyway um but for me it was it was the Mennonites howdy hope y'all are well what's y'all's go-to meal sandwiches I don't know is that a go-to meal I don't know what our go-to meals are Jen makes food and I eat it <laughs> I think it's yeah just like if you don't feel like cooking and stuff, like, what do you go to? Eggs and ravioli. Oh, wait, that's actually cooking for me. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to make, I don't know, any kind of protein with, like, some kind of pasta or something, or rice. No. Yep, that's and when good. I'm lazy and really don't feel like cooking like I did tonight. I just make mm. sandwiches. So I heated up a couple bagels, a couple everything bagels, and then I put some canned chicken and some yummy Carolina Reaper cheddar cheese in the frying pan and heated it all up and melted it together and stuck it on a bagel. <laughs> and I called it dinner. Somebody asked if my parents are still Mennonite. I'm going to say I don't think so. My dad, definitely not. My mom, I'm not completely sure on, but probably not. 
still talk to any of your family? Yes. Um, my parents. Wondering where you got the hat. Looks very cool. I'd like to get one for myself. Narrowwayhomestead.com. However, they're all sold out. As that happens sometimes. I will try to do more. However, it never had... The ones on the website never had this cheap necklace that I used a cult gun to adhere it to my hat. And it didn't have the rings. But the rest of it was all... I just added all this because, I don't know, the leather band fell off of this one after eight years of being weathered and stuff, so I replaced it with that, and I stuck the rings on just because. <laughs> Will from Montana, have you tried the mead yet? Yes, I have. I think I've only tried one of the meads. Yeah, I think we only got one bottle. Only got one bottle. Um, I haven't, haven't forgotten about you or the meads. I'm... That's a lot of mead. <laughs> it's gonna take me a minute. <laughs> it's gonna take me a minute. Um... But yes, I'm excited to continue to try them and and uh, get into them. Yes, Minion. I hear you. Yes, Minion. Do you have things to say? Or are you just protesting? You're funny. <laughs> you mentioned Calvinism, Baptists, Mennonites, etc. Why put so much faith in the denominations that began in the 1500s? That's a really good question. Because I was in my young 20s and kind of had a decent thought process, but well, not really. Before that, though, even as a young child, you were in religion. I was. Within religious groups with your parents. So For sure. it was partially what you knew. It was. It was, or at least similar to. And then you just grew from there. Yep. Which I think is how it happens with most kids. I it mean, does. I mean, I was telling my life story and I was all kinds of different. I had all kinds of different religious beliefs as like time went on. Like it, it was all a process. Some of it not a good process, quite obviously, but a process nonetheless. Have you played Ark Survival? Yes, but it got old. What do you do for health insurance? Pay for... Some health insurance. nonsense health insurance that I have a $10,000 deductible on. So basically, like, if I need to be, like, helicoptered somewhere, it might help me a little bit. Other than that, yeah. All right, whenever the do you still talk to any of your family, I do talk to my parents. If you decide to get more cats, you should look at shelters. Most... Do cats just for outdoor farm life? A lot of shelters won't give you a a cat That's unless unless you're gonna commit to keeping it an inside pet. Are your parents think of this whole situation? How do they view your siblings? I mean, honestly, it's a better question for them than it is for me. Um, they have heard both sides of the story. Um. All of my siblings have treated them differently than others, and I think that's helped them kind of like figure some things out, but my parents are private people. They're really not that interested in being on social media or being in any drama, so generally speaking, I'm leaving them out. However, my life story, obviously, I have parents, so... From that aspect, I, you know, we'll discuss that I have some, but. Any plans for meetups? Spring and summer, possibly, possibly early summer at the earliest, but. Get some healthy treats for Minion, another pup with this. Maybe split a salmon filet. Well, thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. We'll, we'll have to do something. Good day from Sydney. Please smoosh Minion. I think Jen already did smoosh Minion. <laughs> can you make mead with maple sap? I think you can. I mean, mead is basically a honey wine, but many meads contain other ingredients. So as long as it's a fermented honey wine, maple sap can probably be included in that. I don't know why it couldn't. 
Do your parents know the full story? Yes. What was their take? When I told it to them, there was no doubt in my mind that they um, believed everything I said. And yeah, from what they were told on the other side, it didn't make sense to them. So that being said, they still have three children and I believe um, at least one of them would prefer to retain a relationship with all of us. The other one I think would only prefer to retain a relationship with two of us. Um, you know, all that stuff, family drama, whatever. But I am in contact with both of them and I think we're good. Kenneth sent a big super chat and somebody else sent a $5 super chat with message retracted, which I think is one I already read, but it yep. disappeared. This one you to read it and then they retracted it. Gotcha. Never had that happen before. Hi. Rest my friend. We can tell this crap is taking a toll on you. Oh yeah. It's been taking a toll on <laughs> me is. for like days. Yep. And I am probably going to jump off of here before too much longer. Um, Minion's like, time for bed, y'all. Minion. Yeah, Minion is totally ready for bed. Yeah, this is basically bed, Minion. You're laying, you're being basically. cuddled. And Jen's ready for bed. Basically, Jen. I mean, basically. <clears throat> it's basically bed. Mm -hmm. We need Charlotte content. She needs steak dinners. <laughs> Uh, she she's actually had had steak when I hit one million subs on YouTube. And then she turned around and puked it all up. She did. She did. That's she's crazy. not used to that. <laughs> That's funny. It was. Come on. Don't worry. We rinsed it off and gave it to Minnie. <laughs> we did. <laughs> and then sent a super chat or two super chats. Oh. Thank you. You do a meet and greet in MIA, let me know. We can host you. I'll keep that in mind. What is MIA? Is that Michigan with an extra A? I'm confused. MI would be Michigan. MA would be Massachusetts. And MIA would be Michi missing would be in missing action. Would be missing in action, yep. Uh, I think it's a typo. I think it's a typo. That's okay. It's one of those places. Right. Dog a puggle. No, he is not. <sighs> Your channel, low key, is one of the only things that can make me happy lately. Does Nate it's cook too? Good. If yes, what does he like cooking? All I can really do is make smash burgers. He doesn't really like to cook. I wouldn't say like I wouldn't say he really likes it. Otherwise, I think he would do it more often. But you didn't even Probably. do it for yourself unless you absolutely had to. Well, I like to do a lot of things, though. I like to repair so, pocket watches. I like to go practice, like target practice. I just have Aside no from all the BS for... with the HelloFresh stuff, did you like that? No, it was Having awful. a kit sent to you that you had instructions to cook? I had to cut to my cook. own potatoes and do all this stuff. It was terrible. Okay, Nate does not like to cook. Well, the cooking part where I, like, put it in a pan Okay, and he doesn't like to prep to cook. That's right. That's right. So I can cut all this stuff and give it to you and you'll do it? Maybe. That wasn't no. It wasn't no. Nope, it wasn't no. Wow. Hi, man. Hi, man. Welcome to come see Jen? I think he does want to come see Jen. I think so, too. Oh, yeah, oh. Oh, he may boy. just be using Jen as a stepping stone to are run you, off and do sure nonsense. Is. Are you Jen's boy? Are you my, my boy? Open my boy? No. Nope. Let me down. I need water. Ever see bobtail or buh, bob white quail on your property? Not would you consider reintroducing them for wildlife management and bug control? I've never seen any, but I struggle to think how I could reintroduce anything around here with the coyote and fox population. <laughs> Unless I can get them to stay up here where they'd be protected. Have a great night, Nate and Jen. 
Have any recent happenings made you believe the people will be visiting or bothering you soon? What made you decide to make the story public? So, honestly, like, all these videos I make, people ask me questions and stuff, and I feel like I really can't answer without, like, the context of the story behind it. Um, so, I feel like, yeah, like, I feel like I had to put the story out there so that, like, I can refer to it, like, partially without having to, like, tell the whole story. It's already out. Um, basically, I didn't feel like I could be totally genuine with my con with my content. So now it's out there. Also, the other reason is because I would imagine, as they notice my these people, as they notice my success continue, um, they will again look to me as some way to acquire money. Um, <laughs> So I just kind of wanted to nip that in the bud and let them know that I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid to tell any part of the story that they have concocted. Um, basically, like, you got nothing on me, people. Go away. So, that had a lot to do with making it public. I would have done it earlier, except for I literally, physically, just could not tell the story. Inspire me, Nate. Hi, from Salem, Oregon. Awesome. Minion! Settle. Come here. He has to settle. Come on. Jen, what do you think of West Virginia versus Wisconsin? I grew up in... I don't know what that is. Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac. Miss it at times. Um, I was not a big fan of Wisconsin, but I lived in southern Wisconsin in Kenosha County. So yeah. it's a totally different experience than being... Joe. Um... At the northern part of the state, totally different. So I was never really crazy about Wisconsin. But I haven't explored a lot of West Virginia yet. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm loving it here. I need I to introduce answers. her to some cool spots around here. I do. MIA is Miami, Florida. Oh. Oh. It's the Miami part. Okay, I like, had no idea. I would have never caught on to that either. No. Hope you know to trust yourself more. I absolutely do now. Yes, yep. I don't second guess myself. I get a weird feeling in my stomach. I listen to it. And I think you have more self-worth. Yeah, I would say so. But it's easy to have more self-worth than, like, a negative self-worth number. Well... That's good. That is good. That <laughs> Even is good. if we're at the one, we're doing we're doing good. <laughs> what is your favorite device you own? Um, I don't know. I couldn't possibly name one because they all have different functions. Each device I have is specialty for a specific task. He smiles when he has each one out. Doesn't matter which one. I do. I do. <laughs> Absolutely I do. Minion a beagle pug. No, he's a pug. Dachshund and Chihuahua mix. Oh, man, the what you before that. do makes me genuinely happy. Watching, keeping up everything, keeping up with everything you do. Say hello to Lord Minion, as and ducks from the smallest town in Florida. Love your content. Well, thank you. All right, I'm. I was trying to come up with a good question, but I'm coming up short, so I'll just say I've always loved your video style. Thanks for the inspiration. Well, you're welcome, Drew. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, the device lover here, you seem to be a good dude, Nate. Well, thank you. You think there will be rebuttal videos? That's a really good question. Um, I doubt it. Because... I've already taken the wind out of their sails with the whole story. Everything they were going to try to drop is like a coordinated bombshell from multiple people all at once has already been put out there. So the wind's probably out of their sails. And they do not want me to continue. Nor do they probably want me to reveal their exact identity, which if they go and, and make response videos... 
I will absolutely drop all the fake names and bring in, you know, the video and context of the response. So I'm doubting they want all that. So I doubt it. I doubt it. What made you decide homesteading was the choice for you? It was me realizing I was going to be 65 years old knee on my hands and knees doing plumbing in a sink still. Um, just realizing that my current path in life was just going to lead me to exist in the same reality instead of advancing me to something better. I was in a dead end job. It was my own company. And I didn't like the idea of expanding my business and becoming an office dude. And I didn't like the idea of quitting and working for somebody else. So I tried something totally different. Have you considered doing training videos with Minion? I'm new here, so my apologies if you already have them. Still playing catch up with your vids. Appreciate your honest honesty and hard work um so minion's pretty much well trained i do have um as my livestock guardian dog i will probably do some more training videos with him at some point you think of getting an aerator for your pond i have one are those types of videos completely delayed because of this whole series i worked on producing instead yes Who's your guys' favorite band or artist? Also, what's your guys' favorite song and why? Love your channel and your pet army. So, Jen's favorite band is Shinedown. Mine, I have no idea. I like folk metal as a genre. And I don't have a particularly favorite band. And my favorite song always varies. And I don't currently have one. Dan, you're distracting me. <laughs> and I'm totally okay with it. Uh. What made you choose West Virginia? Cheap land, friendly people, low taxes. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Keep up the good content. And good night to you, Jen the Duck, Lord Minion, and Az. Can't wait to see Hank the Tank make a comeback. Good night to you all. Well, thank you, AJ. And yes, Hank the Tank will be making a comeback once, like, grass decides to start growing. Ooh, I saw it getting green. It's getting green. It's totally getting green. Mm -hmm. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Love, hate, meh. Yeah. So, I love Red Hot Chili Peppers. I like to eat Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, that's the ones I'm talking about. The band? No, absolutely yeah, not. I'm not about the band either. <laughs> Squishy says, we love Hank. We love you. <laughs> yep. Squishy. Yep. <laughs> uh, how old is Minion now? He is ten and a half years old. Ten and a half years old. Much love, you guys. Minion is also the goodest boy. Well, thanks. Minion is the goodest boy. Except for when he's not laying down when he's supposed to. Right, Minion? You should be laying down. <laughs> good boy. Head down. He's being be good. Be sad. That's right. He taught this dog to put his head down and be sad. I did. I did. When he's in trouble, he tells him, you put your head down and you be sad. And he puts his head down and he looks up at Nate. Yep. He gives and me I the say, puppy eyes. And I say, he's so sad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Actually, I say, don't be sad, Mins. Don't be sad. You do say don't that. Don't be sad. I tell him to be sad anyway. Mm-hmm. Lone, what's up, Roy? Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> do I like country music? No. How's everything going tonight? Good. Except for I'm getting tired and thinking about getting close and getting close to wrap this up. I Can't do make fettuccine anymore. Alfredo. I should make some, I should do a video on fettuccine Alfredo. Because I make the Alfredo from scratch. Yum. Yes. Mm-hmm. I could do that. That would be good. 
That would be good. They probably haven't made you my homemade Alfredo yet. I don't think so. That's because it's white and the seasoning on all these pans comes off. Well, I guess it would just look like pepper flakes. It would. Yeah, I gotta reseason yeah. them. Spring content coming, guys. Yep. Reseasoning. Cleaning and reseasoning the. Cleaning and reseasoning pans. Cast iron pans. I get to learn how. Mm hmm. I'll help you scrape them. I don't scrape them. Well, yeah, you don't have to. Oh, look at that. You just got kitties. That was really Ooh, cool. I got kitties. Yeah, that you just missed them. that. was really cool. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. That's really cool. It's been a while since we've done TikTok Lives. I don't even know what's out there anymore. That was really neat. Right. Very cool. Is it in the plans to buy a tractor or some equipment? Not really. I might get a skid steer or something sometime. And thank you for the hand hearts. Hey, I started watching when Bucket Cat was Sarah's nickname. Right now, I got a big old snoot named Maggie on me, and she's 14 years old. Sick. In a lab. <laughs> cool. Very cool. That was from Connor. Any paranormal ghost stories? No, I don't have any. You should listen to... What is that? When Celsa's and Ambrosia's by... Gnome really loved her sound. I just have to check that out. We'll have to check that out. And Roy sent another super chat. Thank you. Whoa, somebody sent Oh, a... there it is again. Oh. That's the one. That That's, was way cool. Oh totally my gosh, a, that is so cool. It's, it's totally a, a book. A pop-up book, yeah. One's a lion, one's a regular cat. That's really That's cool. That's super cool. Thank you. That's very kind of you. That was awesome. Enjoy other videos. Minion rules. Minion does rule. When it was just Minion, did he protect the ducks? Yes, he did protect the ducks. That's how he started barking at birds. That's how Nate realized it what is. was going on as he was protecting nope. the ducks from the birds and throwing a fit when they were flying around over him. Mm-hmm. So, very yep, much he did. totally does. But Nate's really good when the, when the ducklings are little, like, really little he right away starts um are you laughing at my storytelling no i'm laughing <laughs> about, at this straw this bend it's got a bend in it it's freaking hilarious i almost died laughing about it but continue i saw that <laughs> when the ducklings are really little he starts um putting them with minion like in the chair and stuff and they get used to minion and minion is used to them So what you do in the bathtub? Yep. Little bubbles. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to put my head under water. <laughs> Imagine that. It's probably best that you don't. And probably not. <laughs> that's how you. That's how you breathe underwater. You oh. Make air bubbles. <laughs> yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. Mm, no. How did you All decide right. on what breed of guardian dog to get? Um. I was deciding between a Turkish Kangal and a Turkish Bodge Shepherd and an Anatolian Shepherd. And I kind of favored the Bodge just based on their size and what people said about their temperaments. Um, so I started looking, but I was contacting breeders of all three. And one of the Bodge breeders I really connected with liked everything he had to say. And... He happened to have a dog that was like six months old, and I was like, you know, I think I can work with that. Andrea sent a super chat. Thank you. You know, pit bull. I don't need small dogs any. I mean, I have minion. I don't need any other. Okay, it's not that small, but if I'm gonna get like more dogs, like big dogs, the insulation in a new place holding up. It is. What the hell happened, right? That's what I'm saying. Why's the mustache wax coming? Ouch. I could. Ouch. I could. Good. No. No, not that kind of wax. Oh, damn it. The kind of wax that like makes your yeah, mustache do like about. cool stuff. Like I'm sorry, it just sounded fun. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm not doing it. I don't want to look like this. 
Oh, let's do it. Absolutely not. I could put the purple dye. No. No purple That's dye. That's where you dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> Remember that guy said you dropped the F-bomb in a live one night? <laughs> And you were like, F, no, I'm not dying a purple. I said, I guess he's pretty serious about that. Because <laughs> Nate just doesn't come out with going, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I should dye my beard purple. <laughs> and eventually I got annoyed. And I'm like, no, I do not want my beard purple. And I'm getting all annoyed again. It wasn't just me. My friends were helping. Jen's friends, stop helping. No, I didn't we agree on purple and black? No, we agree not green and gold. That's right. I get to packer you up. It had nothing to do with purple. You want a purple beard? You grow and dye a beard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then what would you think? I would go to the eye doctor to see if I needed to have my eyes checked. <laughs> or maybe I'd pinch myself and see if I needed to wake up. I pinch you. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. Wake up, wake up, I'm wake sure. up. I'm <laughs> sure. But no, I do have, like I had a mustache wax in the, I have like 18 tins of mustache wax prototype. That's pretty much good. Why didn't you go with it? Because I'm not sure I want to sell a product I won't use. It's a good product, but like what? Okay, does I'm he have gonna... to use the product to have it in his line, guys? Is that like essential? Okay, here's here's how the ad would go. Guys, brand new mustache wax. It's, I don't use it. It works. I don't use it, but you might want to. No. Buy it now. How am I how am I how am I gonna how am I gonna promote that? Well you're gonna have to do it for the ad. That doesn't mean you have to do it daily or choose to wear your mustache that way. You just show that it works. I suppose I could. No, but it's nice to know he stands behind his product. Yeah. No, not at all. It works. You totally could. You totally could. Just try it for a bit. Like... I don't think it has to be because of your style. I mean, you're not selling your style. You're selling a product that works for what people want to do for their style. I am. But also, you the can other... You work at 7-Eleven at midnight. <laughs> the other thing, too, is, like, how many people want to buy mustache wax? I just, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure some people would, but I feel like most people wanting to buy mustache wax are going to find a guy with a perfectly manicured mustache all the time and not some guy that homesteads and just can't freaking, like, sit around and play with his they mustache wanna see, for they half hour They want to see Nate with day. evil cartoon mustache curls. Look, guys, that's long. Like, you know, it's pretty long. Like, it's it's long. We could we could like. You could be like Yosemite Sam. No. No, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Handlebars, AJ Green sent a galaxy. I'm way behind on super chats on YouTube. Sorry guys, I you lost. could do you could do so many fun designs with the wax. I could. I bearded his I bearded his braid. Why do I always say that? I don't know. Always. I braided his beard on live a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Mustache, whiskers, and burgers are a bad combo. Wax is a solution. Okay, but I like to save time in my life. And if like this goes in between my teeth when I'm eating a burger. It counts as flossing, and then I have saved time by not needing to floss at the end of the day. After the meal, it's it's, it's a big win. Oh, AJ sounds a cool look. That's way cool. I love that. What's a good What's a good way to deal with puppy nipping? I was I would tell them, but your puppy, the nine month old out there, that's 130 pounds, still nips me. Like he doesn't really nip though. He like just puts my whole arm in his mouth. So I don't yeah. have an answer for them. And it depends on the the dog. Like, he's a livestock guardian dog. He's a Boz Shepherd. <clears throat> it is literally in his DNA to do Bite that. On that like, yeah. Oh, I can give him wood it's, and he's it's, happy. It's but... like training a dog out of licking for him. Like, 
it's to me it's not worth the effort i'm just going to train him to only nibble on my hands like i redirect only nibble on my hands instead of my arm um because that's easier to train but it, it just depends like i teach bite inhibition more than i do like don't nibble at all like so for me it's just super practical like there is no reason for me to teach him not to gently nibble on my fingers without too much force right all right i do have to go to the super chats i do i do i do andrea sent a super chat thank you what internet preachers did you listen to before coming to tura um francis chan is about the only one i can think of Dye the mustache purple. Absolutely not, Wayne. No, no, no. <laughs> the way you stand behind your product makes you real and I support it. Well, thanks. Yeah, I, I just... Yeah, I like to use the products I have and... Yeah, stand behind them, exactly. Hi to you and Minion from Ohio. Well, thank you, the smoking auditor. Are you an avid ATV rider or pro? Any stories? No. I mean, I ride an ATV, but not nothing professional about it. <laughs> Your product sold in Canada. Not yet. Not yet. Any, any words of advice for someone dealing with a lot of stress? Find a way to eliminate the stress. I'm a problem solver, so like if there's something going on, I come up with solutions to eliminate it. I don't know, like I've been dealing with stress for forever, so like, but it's taking me a while to exercise the solutions to make it happen. Brooke says, if you need another mod, let me know. We'll keep that in mind. Um, I'm usually really selective on my mods. But it does appear that it is probably time to add some more at some point. So. That's a good construction company to hire around Spencer. I have absolutely no idea. What is your favorite type of adult drink, Nate? I struggle with favorites. My favorite type of mixed drink would be a margarita. Which is what I'm having. He likes Long Island iced teas, too. I do. They're strong, though. I just don't have all the stuff yet, and they are strong. Like, maybe occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> or a weak one. I totally told her to make me a weak Long Island iced tea the other day. How do you make a weak Long Island iced tea? You want to give me know. an eyedropper? I just, I just asked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a glass small enough for a... Yeah. I don't know. She used to do like bartending stuff way back in the day, and I just, I don't know. I'm like, there's five liquors in an all Long Island iced tea. What do you mean, make it light? There's only a there's there's a half ounce. Do you smell the cat? No, cat's not in here. That's totally what I smelled before was the cat. Oh yeah. But I don't smell anything anymore. Um. <laughs> There's a half ounce of five, five liquors, half ounce each. Oh, I mean, you want like a splash and a splash and a splash and a well, splash. I guess, I don't know. I know anything about making it. I can't make it. I can't make it light. Oh. Well, good. Do you prefer mixed drinks over beer? Not necessarily. It just depends. Like I would, if you asked me which one, if I could only have one for the rest of my life, I'd have a hard time choosing. Like I want to be able to have beer or a mixed drink sometimes. I like variety. I like wine too. I haven't drank wine in forever, except for mead. And mead, and yeah, he likes. I just like variety, like. Nate versus Jen, who likes espresso more? <laughs> as far as shots of espresso, I probably like the shots better, but I don't know. Could be wrong. I would drink more coffee than Nate, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah. Well, I would too if I'd like. I just don't feel like spending 20 minutes making extra coffee, so I just do stuff instead. <laughs> but. I don't know why I don't drink as much coffee out here as I did. I drank coffee all day at home, every day. Yeah. I probably because every time I try to make a shot of espresso off that thing, it blows up and I get nothing, and then I'm like, Nate. So I can't even make my own cup of coffee, so I have to be like, Nate. And then I'm interrupting him and Meanwhile, taking him away from the things that he's doing. This is her espresso machine, and she has been using it for months with no issues. I had no problems with it. I think it's your porta filter. I swapped out the porta fiddle bit. Porta filter. Basket. And I've made a and I have there made a is. shot since then, and it did the same thing. I swapped it out. Have you made Since it with my then? grinder? No. That's why. I don't even know how to use your grinder. Because the I use my grinders grinder. are they're okay, but like I don't know how to use your grinder. I used my grinder all that time and made coffee just fine. It's not a different grinder. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to use your grinder. You go. You start by pushing the button, and when the thing's full, then you push it again, and it stops. Oh, that one's not timed. See, no. I would have not known that. I would have pushed it and walked away and come back and been like, what the hell? <laughs> and then I would have made a coffee It's timed, mess. as in tells you the amount of times it's been, time it has been grinding. Yeah, no, I don't need to know that. <laughs> this has been grinding for way too long. That's why your floor is covered in coffee. Only you cover the floor in coffee. Uh, okay. So far. No, you can't use a weed grinder. It's not the same thing. No. I mean, so you probably could grind coffee beans with something like that. You're just not going to get near a fine I mean, probably enough grind. Probably technically, but yeah. But no, not that kind of grinder. What is the first thing you recommend when it comes to starting a homestead besides the money? What type of animal do you recommend starting with or garden first? That's a really good question, Laura. Sorry it took me so long to get to you, but I am getting to you. Um, I would recommend, like, you have to have your infrastructure set up for either of those first. Um, and it just depends what you want to do. If you prefer animals more than you prefer fresh stuff out of the garden, that tells you what to go with. If you're going to start, um, with animals, I would totally recommend chickens first. I don't particularly care for chickens. I still recommend chickens every time for a first time animal. It's the first time somebody's homesteading with not much experience with animals. I would absolutely recommend chickens. Great starter animal. And eventually if you decide you don't want chickens and you want ducks instead, well, that experience will mostly help you out. Um, depends how you want to homestead. All right, somebody asked me a bartending question. So a Long Island iced tea is tequila, vodka, rum, gin, and triple sec. And then you... I never knew there was triple sec in it. Not that I knew it was It's supposed to be it. a half ounce of each. And then you... you I, think, I think it's two ounces of sour mix and two ounces of Pepsi. It's like little sour mix and little Pepsi. The Pepsi is just to make it look like iced tea. So really, it's just five shots of liquor with a little bit of sour and some color. That's crazy. That's a serious drink. It's West Virginia. Yeah, it is a serious drink. Yeah, I've had. And also, every I've had some really rough Long Island iced tea nights. You don't have to tell me. So <laughs> I've totally like I've probably had. Not counting the couple you made me, like three Long Island iced teas in my entire life. And they're always in a tiny, skinny glass. And like they weren't very big. Okay. So all of those drinks that we were drinking at the Brat Stop, and we were getting tropical or this or that. And then we went to, to the other bar and they had a whole menu of them. Mm -hmm. Those were all Long Island iced teas. They were just special ones. So there was a tropical Long Island, a Bahama Long Island. Yes, but my point this was when you made me a, a a light iced tea, you gave me like a forty four. You didn't ounce ask me mug. for a light one when I gave you the forty four ounce mug. You were sitting down to start a series, and you said, "Can I have a Long Island iced tea?" And I said, "Sure, give me some gin." Yeah. And I made you a Long Island iced tea. I knew what you were getting into. <laughs> 
We did good. Yours tonight is only half the size. And the series came out good. You did good. All right. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Just now finished What the Hell series. I'm reeling, but I'm glad you're talking about teas. Yeah, me too. I'm reeling too from it all, and I'm glad to be talking about teas too. Instead. Oh my God, is that Nate Petrosky? Um, possibly. Good night, Jarius. <laughs> You guys are drunks, lol. Well. No. Well, I mean, I guess if that's what they want to call it. <laughs> I pretty much have, like, one drink a night and not every night. And they can call it whatever they want. That's true. He didn't have a drink last night. Last night I made him a mandarin orange soda. You did, and that was really good. I made him a homemade soda. You liked that? It was good. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, it was very yeah. good. Oh, I did make you a Long Island iced tea before that. Oh. Oh, I'm a drunk. Darn. Yep. Because <laughs> remember I used all the Malibu? Right. So that's the other thing. I didn't have regular rum to put in his Long Islands either, so I was putting coconut rum in them. So they, I mean, I called it a mocktail. It wasn't your ideal straight up Long Island, but. Right. Well, hey, it was pretty good for me never asking for a Long Island iced tea and then just being like, hey, can I have a Long Island iced tea? <laughs> and I did have a bottle of gin. It's like two years old. And people are worried about you being the one taking advantage of me. <laughs> I have control of the liquor. You do. <laughs> and I'm not drinking it. <laughs> That's true. Uh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> My daddy told me I was a smart girl for a reason. Uh -huh. A smart girl, Jen. Uh -huh. Near your limit, you're not a, a drunk. Well, you know, he's not. I mean, he doesn't drink. I know some people that are like, I know my limit is like 30 drink beers. Like that. <laughs> yeah, and then they go over it. <laughs> right. True. True. Sarah, send a Thank $10 you. Year for Jeff. Very kind. Talking coherently, they're drunks, right? <laughs> right. Shout out from Parkersburg, Nate. Awesome. Nate and Jen the Cougar. You got it. Dad used to say I was too smart for my own damn good. Oh, yeah, I've yeah, heard that, too. I've been told that, too. Yep. Yeah. I was told that one time by some Marine staff sergeant, and we were doing exercises and stuff, and I never went into the Marines, but nonetheless, still did pre-boot camp stuff with a group of people for a while and wanted to know why I had my drink in my boot. Does the handsome man have an OF? <laughs> I don't know. Go find the handsome man and ask him. Don't ask me. <laughs> she looks insulted when I don't refer to myself. <laughs> what? What? Excuse me. <laughs> what? I'm talking to you. Oh. I thought you were talking about some handsome man somewhere. I was talking about a handsome man right here, not somewhere. Oh, I didn't see one Excuse anywhere. Excuse me. What? No, he doesn't have an OF. Well, he does, technically, but it's not what you're looking for. Yeah. It's all, Probably. It's all PG stuff. I don't know who else has an we OF. We did have fun with a subscriber, though, who was trying <laughs> trying to get him to up, upload pictures one time. That was fun. Mm -hmm. He had one person sub to it. and like Seriously, it's pictures of Minion and stuff. Oh, right. It was so funny. <laughs> that was that was funny. It was pretty funny. Don't insult Jen. She wouldn't be with a non-handsome man. Okay, don't make me feel bad. See, even they agree. We're speaking about you, handsome man in the hat. <sighs> oh. Told you. Hold on. Hey. Handsome man, where are you? <laughs> One girl with a whole bunch of people who agree can't be wrong. Probably not. Nope. I'm right. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> That's right, Kayla. You tell him. Thanks, Kayla. That's right. Why didn't you join the Marines? Well, they wouldn't have taken me anyway. I had too many hip issues and other random injuries. But I don't know. I was like 27 or 28 or something and just debating about going in and went through the whole pre-workout, pre-boot camp stuff. Um, and then... I don't even know if I was that old. I don't even know. 
I was 26. I don't know, it had something to do with my, yeah, ex being a cheater and thinking I might just want to disappear. Go away. <laughs> Eventually I decided I didn't like people telling me what to do. It took you that long? It did. Then I went back home. <laughs> I've not let like, people tell me what to do since I was about three. <laughs> like, Okay, but like, I had the choice of Marines or toxic wife. Like, either way, I was going to get told what to do. Baby, you'd have been so much better in the Marines. <laughs> We probably, probably wouldn't be together right now, but you'd have been probably so not. much better in the Marines. I would have been better if I could have literally opened the gates to hell and crawled th into them and stayed there for an eternity. Yeah. Somebody but, took you advantage know. of your naive mind while you were young, and that's just not fair. I'm not naive. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. That's right. You definitely were naive when you were younger. <laughs> I was. What do you I mean, was. where's Jen from? What do you mean, where am I from? <laughs> She's from here. Right now. I am. <laughs> I'm from West Virginia. That's right. What are your red flags about each other? I don't think we'd be together. I've never found a red... I, don't, I can't come up with anything that I'd say is a red flag. And if there's anything that typically upsets or like... If we have something to discuss, we bring it up. We don't just sit on it. Yeah. Yep. I can't think of any. We wouldn't be together if we saw red flags in each other. Like, oh my God, he would have been better if he joined the Amish church. Yeah, no right. doubt. Right? No doubt. Right. You're missing super chats there, baby. I'm missing super chats. There's some super chats. Yeah, we wanted to put Minion on there and call it Only Pause, but... All right. You know. I would buy an OF, just Minion Fix. Yeah, that's... that. Uh-huh, I get that. How religious are you now? What do you believe? Um... I mean... I don't totally know how to... How do you answer the how religious are you? Like, I'm completely <laughs> dead serious about my religion. Um... He's not going to go to a church. He's not going to get with another group of people and have some kind of organized religion. He has mm -hmm. his own set of beliefs. He studies his own beliefs. Nope. Yep. And I'll um, bounce them off of people and discuss them with people, but I'm not putting myself under people, some but yeah. organization. And He's very strong about what he believes, very serious about what he believes, and I support that. Um but yeah, how religious are you is kind of hard to answer. And what do I believe? I, I don't really know how to say it because I can't think of a single term that doesn't imply a group. Like, I just try to do, I guess I'd say, what the Bible says and what I understand of the Bible and what applies to me. And I don't worry about whether other people... Believe the same as I do or not, that's that's their problem. Like, I've got enough problems to figure out. In the long run, he believes in being a good person. I believe in trying to become a good person. That's what I believe in. Yep, you keep trying. I just keep trying and just keep trying. Keep trying. Nate, did you wrestle in high school? I didn't. Then just spit it. Jen just lost it. She's like, oh my god, he's so wimpy. Of course he didn't wrestle in high school. I know what it's like to wrestle you. Oh. <laughs> That's not what they were talking about. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about either. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know what you were talking about then. Oh my goodness. How long have you had your hat? Like, eight years. This exact hat. Long Island Audit says, Great content, Nate. Keep crushing it. Super cool. I'm pretty sure I watch Long Island Audit sometimes. Very rarely when I actually, like, watch videos. I'm so busy making videos, it's not even funny. But 
appreciate it. <clears throat> Where were your parents in this whole story? They found out about everything after Delilah and Jezebel left and talked with all of us separately. I think they tried to find a way to reconcile everything and I made it absolutely clear that under no circumstances will I ever speak with these people ever again. And they didn't get it. And I told the whole story. Show receipts. Had the receipts and everything. I think they kind of got it and as time went on, they, they figured out, yeah, like it is not. It's, Paul's in the chat. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big and y'all, what's your favorite type of music? I don't know why I'm so interested. I like folk metal music. And Jen likes. Shine down. Well, I like rock. Mm hmm. Other than that. And some old bogey music. So I have an appreciation for most music. I can listen to just about anything. Except for me when I try to sing opera, then From it's time to be quiet. From all the way back to like 60s and 70s, <laughs> rock, metal, country. I'm not big on opera. I can appreciate what it is. Do I want to sit down and listen to it? No. Um, with that said, I'm taking Nate to uh, an opera at some point. What? Yeah, I got to see your expression. We'll go see the Pirates opera. of Penzance. <laughs> I know what that is. I'm not going there. Uh, you're funny. I'm not going to an opera either. I'm right. That's what you were trying to look up. Yes, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Totally does. That's totally your type of thing. I can see you watching. I, I, I totally watch. I've, I've watched a ton of Long Island Audit content before. Very cool. Very cool. Making the church minion, please. Like your shirt. Your shirt's awesome. Yeah. I, I could do something something cool with, with minion stuff. Flat Earth. No, I don't think the Earth is flat. I live in West Virginia. There ain't nothing flat about right. the Earth. <laughs> That's my joke, but seriously, no, I don't. I missed the galaxy, they said. Oh, man. That's sad. I'm sad I missed the galaxy over on TikTok. Nate, should I finish your series or finish my homework? Well, my series will still be there tomorrow. Your homework might get you a failing grade otherwise. Logan sent a galaxy. I scrolled back and found who sent it. Thank you. Oh. Have you had Wagyu beef? I have. I've also had the Kobe A5 beef. That's really good. Like, really good. But it is now 11.30. I'm probably going to jump off of here. Let me make sure. I do have another super chat. I'm open Catholic. I think as long as you believe in something, you're good. Well, thanks. And Logan sent another galaxy yep I've, I've had I've had a lot of a lot of friends that just think as, as long as you believe in something or as long as you believe in God that that's that's that maybe would you ever start your own jerky company probably not probably not but anyway Appreciate all the gifts. Appreciate all you guys hanging out. This live has gone on for a long time, but I wanted to catch up on on all the stuff. I know not everybody's fully watched the whole series. A bunch of people will still have no idea that the series ever came out because that's just the way social media works, but that's okay. Um, I see you too, Destiny. Hey, I finished your series. I'm so glad you're on the other side. And Jen's amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you. Very kind. 
But yeah, I'm gonna jump off of here. Barbara, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. I'm gonna jump off of here. YouTube, I'll see you next week. TikTok, you guys will go back on the whole property watch thing after a bit here and maybe I'll be looking at as, maybe I'll hear him bark like crazy outside. I don't know what might be happening outside, but. We've had some great wa property watches the last couple of days. We have. Quite a few people. We have. A bunch of people. Yeah. But I'll get the live restarted again here in a few minutes and Thanks for watching, everybody, and thanks for watching my video series. And if you haven't checked it out and you want a long story that just gets crazier minute by minute, um, check it out. And if you want to jump right to the gist of it, start at part 19. <laughs> we do all live together. We, we do. do. We do. All of us. <laughs> so funny. Happy you found Jen. Oh She's goodness. great. She is great. She is great. No, no mortgage. But she paid off his land. I did. No more debt. I hate debt. I hope to never have it again. Jen is a gem. Absolutely correct. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Good night.